Are you looking for an affordable Tucson community with ample amenities in a highly rated school district near Davis Monthan Air Force Base and Interstate 10? Or an area that is a little more laid back and away from the hustle and bustle of Tucson's Midtown or Downtown? Then Rita Ranch on Tucson's Southeast Side could be the neighborhood for you. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about one of the most popular neighborhoods in all of Tucson, and that is Rita Ranch. Before we get started, consider liking and subscribing to follow along with Tucson news and learn more about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. And when you're ready to buy or sell a Tucson home, all my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. We have over 600 videos about Tucson and real estate on this channel. So explore the rest after this one. And of course, comment below with your favorite thing about Rita Ranch. Rita Ranch is a master planned community that suits just about anyone looking for amenities, a desirable school district, and proximity to recreation and the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. This community is located in Southeast Tucson and the estimated population of this area is just under 25,000 residents. The majority of homes in Rita Ranch showcase the Spanish Revival architecture style. Most of these homes have stucco exteriors and softly descending tile roofs throughout. You will find single and two level homes containing three to four bedrooms and a select few boast scenic vistas of the distant Rincon Mountains. All of these homes have two car garages and some even have three. Most of these homes were built in the 1990s and early 2000s, so it's not uncommon to see open floor plans and higher ceilings, but the styles aren't as modern contemporary as newer construction unless they've been updated by their owners. Although Rita Ranch's lot sizes are generally larger than newer construction that I see even at the same price point. I also see many Rita Ranch homes with swimming pools in the backyard. One of the best things about Rita Ranch, in my opinion, is that it is close to all of the amenities you need, with many choices of shops, restaurants, parks, gyms, and grocery stores, pharmacies, and other small businesses practically within walking distance, and the whole community has walking paths everywhere. And you could certainly ride your bike anywhere. In Rita Ranch, you have a wonderful 37-acre park to enjoy a beautiful day in. Purple Heart Park is dedicated to the military order of the Purple Heart, honoring men and women injured or killed during combat while serving in the armed forces. There is a public swimming pool, playgrounds, a splash pad, a dog park, and sports fields. They even have a great skate park to practice your skills. Some of our favorite restaurants include Rancho Rustico, which is a family-style Mexican food restaurant known for its authentic cuisine and a variety of delicious margaritas. A lot of my clients that have moved to this area love the food here. It's definitely one of the most popular eateries in Rita Ranch. Wings on Fire is one of the best places in all of Tucson to stop and see if you can handle the heat. With three levels of their fire category. Are you up for the spice challenge? If not, they still have a plethora of delicious wing sauces to try. They have some great buffalo shrimp as well. This is a hot spot in Rita Ranch for meat eaters, for sure. Taqueria Dos Hermanos is another local eatery featuring Mexican cuisine, delicious drinks, appetizers, and tacos. This might be your best Sonoran hot dog in the Rita Ranch area. Gotta love those Sonoran dogs. If you want a spot with the down-home feel and some delicious breakfast, stop by Jerry Bob's. Whether it's a breakfast burrito, omelet, or traditional breakfast with a side of grits, you will get your fill at this locally owned and operated restaurant. If you're a cyclist, Rita Ranch may be an ideal location for you. Fantasy Island Trails Park in Rita Ranch, Tucson, Arizona is a hidden gem for outdoor enthusiasts. This mountain biking trail system adjacent to Rita Ranch features 25 biking trails and is a hot spot for mountain bikers in Tucson. This is on state trust land, so you do need a permit to ride here. If you're more of a road cyclist, you can hop on the Chuck Huckleberry Loop that borders Fantasy Island. If you aren't familiar with the Chuck Huckleberry Berry Loop, I suggest you check out TucsonLoop.org to get information about the 131 miles of biking paths that go all around the city of Tucson. And of course, we have a video out on this channel about the loop as well, so check that one out after this one. Oddly enough, there is a legend that Rita Ranch got its name from Howard Hughes, who once owned the land in this area of town in the 1950s, which he purchased to build a missile plant. According to the story, Hughes named the area 
area after Rita Hayworth, who he was married to at one time. I honestly don't even know if the story is true, but it kind of makes for a fun legend. This neighborhood is in close proximity to Davis Monthan Air Force Base and provides a convenient place to live if you are working on or near base. Meanwhile, Amazon has a 1.2 million square foot warehouse just west of Rita Ranch that employs over 1,500 people, so this area could be convenient for you as well if you are employed by Amazon. I hope you've learned a little bit about what the Reed Ranch neighborhood in Tucson, Arizona has to offer. It's a great family-friendly neighborhood, although I work with clients of all ages who have purchased in this community. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Tucson or the surrounding areas, I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. There are hundreds of other videos on this channel about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. So make sure you're exploring the rest of this channel. Comment below with your favorite area of town. I will gladly make a video about it if I haven't already. Please consider showing the channel some love by liking and subscribing on your way out the door. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.